This video demonstrates how to begin building 3D models in Inventor using 2D digital concept sketches created in Sketchbook Designer. In this example, we are creating the concept layout for a swing arm assembly in Sketchbook Designer. We'll first set the color and size of the pen we're using, and then we'll enable and position an axis of symmetry. As long as this is turned on, anything we create on one side of the axis will be duplicated on the other. Next, we'll sketch some rough geometry, and then sort through the interpretations until we get precise geometry that represents our design intent. In this case, a straight line and a tangent arc. We're going to use a really cool command here to join these called Combine Curves. This command lets us select any two curve segments and combine them into a single segment, creating tangency between the two. More importantly, it lets us define the range and point of tangency as well. Next, we'll activate the Curve Segment Tail Select mode so that we can trim off the overhangs. And when that is done, we'll turn off symmetry and then save the DWG file. In Inventor, we will open the Sketchbook Designer DWG file and make sure to select Options after selecting the file. Setting this to Import will ensure that Inventor's modeling environment is the destination. The DWG DWF file wizard will start and at the Import Options dialog box, we can select the geometry we want to import from the preview window. Next, we have to make sure that Constrain Endpoints is enabled, which gives us closed sketch regions, and the units should be set to Detected. We now have a new sketch in Inventor with the same name as the original Sketchbook Designer layer. Using a multi-body workflow to create these 3D parts, we can then continue to develop the entire assembly all from a quick conceptual sketch made in Sketchbook Designer.